Hey everybody, this is Tree from treeoflogic.com. The Proud Family is an American animated television series created by Bruce W. Smith that originally ran on Disney Channel from September 2001 to August 2005. Fans consider it to be a wholesome, diverse, and entertaining show. A rival known as The Proud Family, Louder and Prouder, premiered on Disney Plus on February the 23rd, 2022nd, and is considered angry, woke, and anti-white. This video is going to be different than other reactionary videos in reference to the new woke version of The Proud Family. I'm going to fact check each false claim that is made in this small clip that went viral on Twitter. You're looking for someone to actually fact check the false claims that are made in the louder and prouder version of the Proud Family? Well, look no further. You may want to bookmark this one. So let's begin. This country was built on slavery, which means slaves built this country. No, slaves did not build this country. Allow me to explain. Before I proceed further, I want to talk about the words colonize and colonizer. I've noticed that a lot of blacks and self-hating white liberals tend to use these words in order to dehumanize and shame white people. And thanks to the movie Wakanda, calling white people colonizers is now considered a racial epithet. However, I ask white people who are called these names to not feel ashamed. Being known as a colonizer is not a bad thing. I mean, have you looked at the places that have been colonized versus the places that have not been colonized? Here, let me show you the difference. Colonized, not colonized. Colonized, not colonized. I can do this all day. I also find it interesting that most of the world population prefer to live in countries that have been colonized versus places that have not been colonized. So why are colonizers bad again? Now where was I? Slaves built this country. Oh yeah, debunking this bullshit. This country was built on slavery, which means slaves built this country. The land that we know now as Virginia was first colonized in 1607 by English travelers under King James, which was named Jamestown at the time. No African slaves were with them during this time. So they, the English, built their colonies, not slaves. Tobacco was the big money-making crop for the settlers at that time. It was the Englishmen who were growing loads of tobacco and bringing it back to England to sell. This created for them wealth, which attracted more colonists, and thus Jamestown began to expand, still with no slaves. It wasn't until late August of 1619 when at least a thousand more settlers arrived in Jamestown, hoping to capitalize on the growing tobacco market. And out of those 1,000 settlers, only 19 were slaves from Angola, who arrived on the English ship called the White Lion. Now here's something that they don't teach children in school today. The 19 Africans that were brought to Jamestown in 1619 were considered indentured servants, meaning that they were work for seven years before giving their freedom, buying land, building a home on that land, and growing in addition to selling tobacco for profit. However, not all 19 Africans took advantage of this option. Most preferred to continue working under the Englishmen until death. Oh, and one more thing. The slaves in the early 1600s were not mistreated as illustrated in movies like Roots, Emancipation, and the Django Unchained. It wasn't until 1660 when the laws changed to where Africans were no longer considered indentured servants and given the option to work up to seven years before given their freedom. The new law made this option illegal and all slaved Africans were now forced to live as lifelong chattel slaves. So this is part one of how slaves did not build this country. So when these animated characters start yelling, Slaves built this country! 
That's when I will talk about part two. Till this land from sea to sea to sea. First it was rice, tobacco, sugar cane. It's funny how she says that slaves tilt this land from sea to sea by giving a false impression that only blacks from Africa were enslaved. Every race enslaved their own including Africans. So the woke mob of today, they want to rewrite the history of slavery by falsely stating that slavery exists only out of racism. This is not true. Those who took the time to research history will find that either the rich or the strong would often enslave those who were weaker and vulnerable of their own race. Asians enslaved weaker Asians. Africans enslaved conquered Africans. The Balkans were enslaved by the Europeans. Indigenous people enslaved other indigenous people and so on and so on. This went on for six centuries before the first Africans were brought to the Western Hemisphere by Europeans. So tilling of the land from sea to sea were done by slaves who were enslaved by their own race including Africans. We are the home Till this land from sea to sea to sea first it was rice, tobacco, sugar cane. I also need to point out the dishonesty in this clip. The profits from exporting crops in America told in this clip is all wrong. It did not start with rice, then tobacco and sugar cane. The historical order of crops based upon profits started with tobacco in 1610 out of Jamestown, sugarcane in 1795 out of Louisiana, and then rice in 1890 out of Louisiana and Texas. They couldn't even get that right. Whitney did his thing and cotton became king. And we were its soldiers. Four, Four million, million strong. Eli Whitney was an inventor who did not own slaves. This is going to be important for later. He invented the cotton gen, which removed seeds out of cotton 10 times faster than slaves. The cotton gin was invented in 1793 and patented in 1794. Not only did this increase the profit of cotton, but it also increased the demands for more slaves. In 1793, it was established that the number of slaves in the South were 700,000. However, after the invention of the cotton gin, the number of slaves increased to 4 million by 1860 before the American Civil War. Now let's put that number in perspective. At the start of the Civil War in 1861, the United States population was 31,443,321 and out of that number, 1.2 million were slaves located in the Upper South. 2.3 million were slaves located in the Lower South and 433,586 slaves were located in border states. That totals to 3,953,696, which is rounded off to 4 million. Now keep in mind that Northern states abolished slavery in 1804. So according to the 1860 census, all of the slaves that were located in America were located in the South. Fighting for America's freedoms even though we remained America's slaves. slaves. Built this country. The descendants of slaves continue to build this. Slaves, slaves built, built this country. country. No, they didn't. So let's move on to part two of how slaves did not build this country. So let's talk about how this country, which is now known as the United States of America, was built. First, you need shelter like a house. Then you need a place to teach children like a school, a place to worship, a church, followed by roads, buildings, bars, factories, banks, hospitals, railroads, sewage systems, businesses, etc. These places were not built by slaves. One of my biggest criticism of blacks who embrace this false narrative is the arrogance in their ignorance. In 1860, blacks made up about 12.3% of the population and the vast majority of them were in the South picking cotton, tobacco, sugarcane, and other valuable crops. You can't compare tilling crops on a plantation to building an infrastructure full of towns and cities. In other words, picking cotton is not the same as building a functional 
infrastructure. Y'all done lost your minds. And we, the descendants of slaves in America, have earned reparations for their suffering. No one alive today deserves payment for something that they never was a part of. Sorry, but the window of opportunity for reparations to freed slaves, slaves and their first generation who were directly affected is gone. Not to mention that over 90% of blacks right now living in America, they are not descendants of slaves. Oh. Most blacks here in America are descendants of immigrants, while others are descendants of free slaves. And get this, a small percentage of blacks here in America are descendants of black slave owners, like Kamala Harris, whose great grandfather owned five plantations and over 200 slaves. Oh yeah, did you all know that we had black slave owners here in America? Let's discuss that. Contrary to popular belief, all white people in the 16th, 17th, and 18th century did not own slaves. Based upon the 1860 census, only 1.4% of the population were slave owners, and this included black slave owners. As a matter of fact, based upon the 1860 census, over 3,000 blacks own a total of 20,000 slaves. So it's time to stop thinking that only white people own slaves. Black folks own slaves too. So if you're looking for your reparations, I suggest you go find Laquifa and Tyrone and tell them to give you your money. And continue to earn reparations every moment we spend submerged in the systemic prejudice, racism, and white supremacy. The reparations thing is never going to happen, so get over it. Also, this is a lie. Michael Brown never said that. And this lie has been debunked over a million times. Systemic prejudice is not a thing. And since you want to mention racism, are we going to talk about the growing racism against Asians and whites done by black folks? Are we going to pretend that's not happening? Oh yeah, and when was the last time you seen this take place? If you have to take an old black and white photo from the 40s and 50s and try to make that relevant to today, proves that you don't have any arguments. That America was founded with and still has not atoned for. Slaves built this country. Again. America was not founded on slavery. European colonization began in 1492. The first 19 slaves weren't brought here until 1619. It is a historical fact that America was not founded on slavery. It was founded by Europeans for 127 years before the first Africans were brought to this land. So no. Slaves did not build this country. Not only field hands, but carpenters, masons, blacksmiths, musicians, inventors built cities from Jamestown to New Orleans to Banneke, Washington. 40 acres and a mule. We'll take the 40 acres, keep the mule. Keep the mule? You do understand the purpose of the mule, right? The mule was offered so that blacks can plow the land in order to build a farm. So how you want to get a 40 acres and no mule? This proves that people who are always looking for handouts are financially ignorant. We made your families rich. No, you didn't. You didn't make anybody's family rich. Stop spreading that lie. You can't even prove that madness. Shut up. From the southern plantation heirs To the northern bankers To the New England ship owners The founding fathers Former presidents Current senators The Illuminati The New World Order Slaves, slaves built this country. country Nope, no they didn't Also, how you gonna forget about the Greeks The Irish The Italians Hungarians Poles And other Slavic immigrants Who literally built this country And they weren't even considered white during that time Oh, and I also need to mention the Japanese, Chinese, and the Hispanics. You guys act like the only people who were here in America during this time were black slaves and white slave owners. Oh, and one more thing. Native Americans also owned slaves. We had Tubman, Turner, Frederick D. Then they say Lincoln freed the slaves. But slaves were men. And women. And only we can free ourselves. I don't understand this part. Yes, slaves were men and women like yeah is that a surprise to you guys <laughs>
Emancipation is not freedom. Jim Crow, segregation, redlining, public schools, feeding private prisons, where we become slaves again. As None of this makes you a slave. And redlining public schools and private prisons are not exclusive to only blacks. So stop lying. Also, you need to show this sign to black people, not whites. Now, don't make me pull out them FBI statistics. We celebrate Juneteenth for the umpteenth time. I grew up in an all-black community in Washington, D.C. Went to all-black public schools and even graduated from a historical black university. Not one time, not one time did we celebrate Juneteenth. So since it wasn't a thing back then, it's not gonna be a thing with me now. Moving on. Our account is still outstanding. Cause this country was built on slavery, which means slaves built this country. If your account is still outstanding, that means you need to get a job. Oh, and no, slaves did not build this country. And we demand our 40 acres and a mule. About that. You can keep the mule. Keep the 40. We're taking our freedom. You're taking your freedom, so we're good? You don't want your 40 acres. You definitely don't want the mule. All you want is your freedom, right? Well, since slavery is illegal here in the United States of America and you're already free, America doesn't owe you a damn thing. Man, I'm so glad we worked this out. Glad we had this talk. Oh, and by the way, is anyone gonna call out Laquandra over here for culturally appropriating an overweight white woman? No, we're not gonna call, we, no accountability? No, uh, okay. Well, that concludes today's history lesson. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any questions or you have any comments or if you're triggered, feel free to leave it in the comments below this video. Don't forget to leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Shout outs to my taters who actually commissioned for this video to be made. I know it's a little late, but better late than never. See you guys on the next one. Later taters. Oh.